Hello everyone and welcome back to my craft table. This is just a short little uh, tutorial on putting a label on um, like a canister for your pantry. Um, this is just one of those OXO uh, um, pantry canisters, which I absolutely love. We're going to put a cute little design on there. And so the, dis the supplies you need for today are your container, we need some rubbing alcohol to clean that off, make sure it's super clean. A tape measure, transfer tape, vinyl, cutting mat, and then of course, scraper, weeding tool, and scissors. Definitely need the scissors. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and head off to Cricut Design Space. Okay, so now I'm in Cricut Design Space and I have a blank. Uh, canvas ready to go and I think today we are going to make a uh, little label for the canister but I want it to hold coffee beans so I am going to go to images and let me clear that out should look worked okay so um coffee goes in and let's see where did I see the one it was so cute it was I might have to look at our projects projects all right so sometimes that happens I will look in images and then all of a sudden I'll notice that it's not there and then I'll have to look at projects and we will look for one more thing. Here we go. Okay, so it's called Coffee Happiness. And this is, says it's for a glass cup, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my um, OXO. I think this is such a cute little, um, it's just a cute little design. So, okay, we're gonna hit edit a copy. And I just like to always, I could just go ahead and hit make and print it out ready to go, but I do like to kind of resize things. So here is our design and I am going to change the color and it's not really an orange. So I'm going to make this a lot lighter. It's more like a buff color. So kind of like that. And I like to do that just for, you know, as design purposes. And let's see. I'm going to measure my space on here and it is, my space will be like four inches tall and a four by seven. I'm gonna make a box or a rectangle really. Um, let's make a rectangle. Now this is the space that I think will be good my container is absolutely a little bit bigger than this, but I want to use this. Okay, four by seven. I think that's good. And I will close the aspect, go over here, and I'm gonna just change it to white. Now this is just for design purposes. So this will be the, the front of the canister that we see. And then I'm gonna align this to the front and put it here. And I'm gonna see how big I can stretch this out. Okay. And finally, align and center. So this has placed it um, in the middle, top to bottom, and left and right. And I think that looks really good. Um, I don't need the rectangle though to cut out of my vinyl so i'm actually going to hide that because that literally is just for design purposes okay i am going to go ahead and hit save as and i'm going to put um, coffee in happiness out and sorry if you can hear the puppy upstairs running around Okay, coffee in, happiness out, and I'm gonna hit save. And now it looks like everything is already attached according to the designer. So I'm gonna come over here 
to make and let's go see what it's going to do. All right, so it looks like it's ready to go. I don't need to do anything else. So I'm going to load my vinyl on the corner of my mat and then mat will be a 12 by 12. No mirror is needed because it is not uh, iron on HTV and I only need one project copy. I don't need multiples. And so <clears throat> when I hit continue, it'll be looking for my Maker 3 and we have permanent glossy premium vinyl. And uh, normally I do more um, as my pressure. I think I'm gonna continue to do that. One of these days I'm gonna leave it at default, but I just worry that it will need to be cut again. So I always do the more pressure, got my fine point blade loaded, so the next thing we will do is get over to the maker and get that cut out. Okay, so before we load this into our maker, we are going to take some rubbing alcohol, just spray that on the top, and we're going to give it a nice, and this can dry while we're cutting, but we don't want any lotion, oil, dirt, etc. I'm just going to set that aside. Okay. And we're just using this standard grip green mat. Okay. And I'm going to get that loaded on here. Perfect. Grab the brayer. Now the brayer really just, I mean, these mats are sticky, but the brayer really just makes sure that any little microscopic air bubble pocket that might prevent your mat from being adhered to the vinyl. Okay, so we're gonna get this loaded into the Cricut. And we're all ready to go. Okay, so the first deal will be that it is going to load the measure the mat, make sure we have enough vinyl in place. All right, and then play. Next, we'll just wait for the cutting. Okay, so our design has all been cut out by the Cricut and the cut lines look great. I'm gonna turn the mat over and we're going to be peeling the mat back from the vinyl. This is the permanent vinyl from um, Expressions Vinyl. So it's their S50 or Series 51. This color is buff. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going, I'm gonna cut this design out and then we'll get started on the weeding. Perfect. So looks like everything's there. That E was very easy to fix. I just nudged it back into place. So nice and perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our container. Now again, this is, you know, I figured about four and then the height of seven. 
So I think I'm gonna leave this about right here in the middle. And basically I'm using it like a placeholder. Okay, so the next thing, I'm gonna take this, this transfer tape, which is way more than I need right now, and get it on there. Okay, I think I'm definitely at the end of this particular piece of transfer tape. Sometimes I use them several times before I have to toss them. Okay, so there's the front and the back. I'm gonna make that furnish those down really well. So we wanna have a nice clean transfer. And then we're gonna very carefully peel back the carrier sheet, which we will not need. So that can definitely just be tossed aside. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this excess transfer tape. Okay, so coffee goes in and happiness goes, comes out. And I'm thinking that's one and a half there. And I could come down a little bit more. So two and a half. I think that looks good there. And that's probably really good right in the middle. So I think I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, and I like that these grid lines underneath my mat, I mean, under on the mat underneath, this is clear. This is actually very handy because, okay, get that on there. I was able to make sure that the, the goes in, I used that as a reference. Okay. All right. Now we're going to pull this off very gently. And hopefully we don't have to coax anybody into staying in place. This is a very nice, clean transfer. This is making me very happy right now. Okay. Perfect. All right. And I do feel like this transfer tape is probably at its end. So just stick it there. All right. So my my plan is to fill this with coffee beans for my coffee maker and set it on the counter. And this is gonna be so fun with the dark um, coffee beans behind it. This is gonna look great. In fact, yeah, now you can really see it. That's gonna be fantastic. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. And I hope that this inspired you to just add a little extra happiness to your coffee making routine. And I will see you next time. Happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.